Since the 1980s and 1990s, street racing in Japan has been fairly common. However, because of government and police intervention, street racing has decreased. The illegal street racing that happens today usually takes place on the Togai Mountain Roads or on Japan's Wangan Expressway, where racers reach top speeds. Despite recent police enforcement, one little-known racing group still races on the streets of Osaka. Their racing is unlike any other. They call themselves the Kanjizoku. The club is filled with mystery, as very little is known about them, but their impact on Japanese car culture is enormous. So who are the Kanjizoku, and what makes them some of Japan's most infamous street racers? Kanjizoku is a subcategory of Japanese street racers primarily racing on an Osaka highway called the Loop. The club was founded in the 1980s. In the early days of the Kanjizoku, rival clubs would race each other at high speeds on the Loop. The culture of the Kanjizoku is mysterious because not many people know about this club, and the Kanjizoku try to keep it this way. Members of the club remove their license plates and the vehicle's VIN number. They also hide their cars in discreet locations to keep their anonymity. Not uncommon for members to wear ski masks or put netting on their windows to hide their identity from police or other bystanders. Kanjizoku tradition all started on one Japanese expressway, the Hanshin Expressway No. 1, or more commonly referred to as the Loop. This is an ideal road for street racing and the battleground of the Kanjizoku. The Kanjo Loop is 4.7 miles long and runs right through the heart of Osaka. During the day, it is a regular route for drivers going to work, but at night it turns into a racecourse that attracts the attention of Osaka's Kanjizoku racers and the police. The loop has many exits racers can take to avoid police, making it perfect for illegal street racing. It has been this way since the early days of racing in Japan. In the 1970s, street racing in Japan was gaining popularity, and the loop was used by enthusiasts for racing. It was common to see early GTRs and that sun's racing on the loop before expressways like the Wangan were built. The Kanjo Loop is much narrower than other Japanese expressways and has many curves, meaning you needed a car with great handling to take these turns at high speeds. Naturally, the Honda Civic became the car of choice for the Kanjizoku racers. They were a lot easier to get compared to the Porsche 911s and GTRs the Wangan racers used. Unlike the millionaire street racers of the Wangan, the Kanjizoku were everyday people like you and me, racing cars that are common and easy to modify. Additionally, the Civic could easily blend in with Osaka street traffic. During the 1980s, the third generation Civic was released. Street racers were attracted to the car because of its small size, good handling, and high revving engines. Within a few years, the Honda Civic became the car of choice for the Kanjizoku. Street racing on the loop really took off during the mid to late 1980s. This is when clubs like No Good Racing and Top Gun Racing were founded. Many members today still run this banner, and these are becoming more and more common in the American car scene. What really makes the Kanjizoku special is that they are not your typical street racers. Sure, the club involves modified vehicles reaching dangerous speeds on public highways and taking turns in a way you only see on tracks. But the Kanjizoku are playing a game between dangerous speeds and the police. Similar to the Bosako Biker Clubs, the Kanjizoku made an effort to reject societal norms in Japan. Their cars are a way of expressing themselves in a society that takes pride in its structure and uniformity. During the peak of the Kanjizoku scene, the racing was much more competitive. Members would race for respect, sometimes resulting in fist fights between racers. Unfortunately, police crackdowns greatly reduced the Kanjizoku scene. Members who are still active on the loop now race for more personal reasons or just want to keep the culture alive. Current Kanjizoku have faith in the next generation to continue the Kanjizoku tradition. One member stated, as long as there are civics, there will be Kanjizoku. Even today, young kids still race to keep the tradition alive. Nowadays, the Kanjizoku avoid conflict to keep the spirit of the club alive. However, they have developed one common enemy, the police. Part of the reason the Kanjizoku race is because it is illegal. It's a game, a highly dangerous one, but a game nonetheless. Part of the fun is getting away with something illegal, which involves a certain level of anonymity. Civics of the Kanjizoku race with no license plates, registration, or VIN numbers to remain anonymous. Racers often wear masks or put netting on their windows to hide their identity. Many members live on the outskirts of Osaka, so it's hard for them to drive their unregistered cars to the loop without risking getting caught. Instead, they hide their cars in garages or shops near the expressway, making it easier to access the loop. 
Until recently, not many people knew who the Kanjizoku were, it wasn't until stories started floating around the internet that people took notice. Despite the scene's rise in popularity, the culture is still underground. Encounters with the Kanjizoku outside of the scene are brief and fairly uncommon. You might see a few civics racing around before they quickly disappear into the night, adding to the scene's mystery. The scene today consists of older members and some younger Kanjizoku who are just trying to keep the spirit of the loop alive. Kanjizoku will often pause racing to play with the police. Though harassing police is not as common as it used to be, one of the funniest things is that a single Japanese police interceptor is not equipped to catch Kanjizoku members. However, due to government intervention and police crackdowns, illegal racing is not as common as it used to to be. The penalties of getting caught do not justify the risk involved in racing. If you were caught, your car would be destroyed, and your license could be revoked. Despite these consequences, the Kanjizoku are still fairly active and organized. This just means they have to take extra steps to hide their identity and remain anonymous. Many times before running the loop, they will send out a scout car to see what kind of law enforcement is present on the expressway. If law enforcement is present, the Kanjizoku will send out decoy racers to distract the police before assembling elsewhere, usually at a nearby expressway. Some of them also engage in hakamuri, which is the art of sitting on your door, hanging halfway outside the car while driving down the road. I don't really get it, but they do that dot. As the Kanjizoku cruise the streets of Osaka, they completely disregard every traffic law. Stoplights, lane markers, and speed limits mean nothing to them. Despite this chaos, there is a certain order to the Kanjizoku. As the club passes an intersection, few cars will block the road to prevent cross-traffic from passing. When they reach the entrance of the loop, they have to pass the toll barriers. Instead of paying the toll, one legal car will pay and keep the barrier open until the Kanjizoku pass onto the expressway. Once on the expressway, the racing begins. Unlike the Wangan races, top speed is not what the Kanjizoku are after. The true racing occurs on the winding sections of the loop. They are more interested in testing the handling limits of their cars than top speed. The crash on these turns could be incredibly dangerous, if not deadly. This is one reason why many members have moved to racing on tracks instead of the Osaka Expressway. A lot of older members refuse to consider these track goers as Kanjizoku, but in a way, these enthusiasts are just going back to their roots. In the late 1980s and 1990s, the Civic was a popular racing vehicle. The loop runners used the same mods in their cars, starting from styling to engine setup and tuning. The engine mods and tuning are usually not heavy. In most scenarios, it is a moderately tuned, naturally aspirated B-series or K-series VTEC engine. The interiors are generally stripped bare, and things like engine bay presentation do not mean much to these guys as long as their car is perfectly functional. Even if they are not illegally racing in Osaka, the Kanjizoku Civics racing on tracks share the same heritage. These days, Kanjizoku is still alive, and there is faith in the community that this tradition will continue into younger generations of enthusiasts. However, with advancements in automotive technology, new forms of street racing have emerged in Japan. It is much more common for younger enthusiasts to be involved in roulettezoku, meaning roulette tribe. These racers take aspects of the Midnight Club and Kanjizoku. Dot. Modifying their cars to push crazy amounts of power to race other members, often for large amounts of money. This is a much newer scene, but the heritage of Japanese street racing still lives on. I'm not sure what's going to happen to the Kanjizoku, but I have faith in their future, especially with the release of the new Honda Civic Type R and the growing popularity of Kanjizoku in the United States. Dot.